that if you are committed, not interested, but if you are committed to achieve any goal, health, wealth, relations, career, business, uh, travel, money, uh, public speaking, whatever, any, write a book, it, it, do you agree that if you're committed, you can find an answer? If you're committed, you will find an answer. If you're interested, you'll find excuses and reasons why you can't. So why not just say, I'm committed to stopping procrastination. I'm committed to finding an answer. I'm committed to solving this. I'm committed to upgrading my knowledge. I'm committed to upgrading my skills. I'm committed to changing my beliefs. I'm committed to letting go of disempowering habits. I'm committed to do whatever it takes, honestly, ethically, professionally. I'm committed. I'm a committed person to achieve goals, not a committed person to have goals. I'm a goal achiever, not a goal setter. Of course we do both, right? And rule number 10, the last one before some very special bonus clips, is create a vision board. Whenever I want to create anything, whether it's uh, my physical body, a home, a car, a trip, there's a big part of our brain called the occipital lobe, back of our brain. Even when light comes in through our eyes, right, cells in the back of our brain activate and an image pops up in our brain. And that image that pops up into our brain is connected to the motivational center and the thinking center part of our brain. So if a negative image pops up, we reduce our motivation and we don't take action. And then we reinforce that pattern. But let's say I have a, an image of something that I really want, something that inspires me, that as soon as I pop up that image in my brain, I actually release dopamine, yeah. okay? Uh, the reward neurochemical in my brain that actually creates motivation that's actually tied to what I call as the Einstein part of the, part of the brain that can actually help you figure out how to achieve that thing. Mm. And so I create images of what is it that I want to create for health, wealth, relations, career, business, charity, fun and experiences so that I can activate the reward circuits in my brain, the motivational circuits in my brain, the thinking centers in my brain to help me figure out how to achieve it. But the other purpose of a vision board is to give your brain the instruction of, this is the stuff that's important to me that I wanna create, do, be, have, or give. Right. So, you know, we all have, you know, 50,000 thoughts a day. We all have so much on the social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or Clubhouse or whatever, all the different, you know, stations and channels are and the people that want to get, gather our attention. Well, why don't we become better at focusing our attention on what we want to trade our life for?